Hi everyone, Spurkle here. Welcome to my Beginner Basics Modding Daisy Tutorials. Episode 6, Keys and Publishing. So first of all, we're going to need to create our app mod folder ready to publish. I like to keep all of my published mods on my P drive in my Packed and Publish folder. In here, you'll need to create a new folder with the name of your mod. In my case, it is App Beginners Basics. If I open this up, you'll see some examples I've already made. We have a class names.txt and a types XML. These are only added to help out server admins. This is simply a list of the class names that I have added to the game and an example types XML. I'll open this up with Notepad so you can see it. It's just two entries for the two new classes that I've added to the game. You'll also see a mod.cpp. This gives information on the mod. You can see this in game, such as the logo, website, version numbers. Have a look in this. And there's not much to take note of, it's all pretty self explanatory. Action is the, the website button, so I've just linked my Discord there. And everything else is what you want it to be. One thing to take note of is the picture, logo, small logo, and logo over. I'm using the same image, which is a beginner basics.edds. I'll quickly cover how to create an edds file. The first time you'll need Workbench. So, let's launch it. Once Workbench has loaded, if this is the first time using it for you, you'll need to go to Options and make sure your source data directory is set to your P drive. Click OK and restart the Workbench if need be. I've already done this. I will now navigate to my mods folder, the data folder, where you'll see I've created beginnerbasics.png. This is just a simple square workshop logo that I have made for this mod. If I go over here, right click on it, register, resources and import, and close the workbench. If we navigate back to our mod, in our data folder, you'll see the new .edds files that I mentioned. In our mod.cpp, that pretty much covers this. Most of it is self-explanatory. So on to the next. We have the add-ons folder. There's nothing in here at the moment. We need to add our mod. So first of all, let's launch Daisy Add-on Builder and repack our mod so it includes the new EDDS files. Once that's finished, navigate to our Daisy server at test folder. Look at the add-ons. If we copy out our beginners basics.pbo and put it in this empty add-ons folder within our app mod folder. And that's that for now. Finally we'll have keys. At the moment our keys folder is empty. Keys are needed so the server can check that the mod files are up to date and the same on both server and client side. There is a public and a private key. As a modder, you create your keys with dsutils and you sign your mods with the same tool with your private key. You put your public key in this keys folder of the app mod. So to create a new key, open up your dsutils, click on the N Create an authority name and simply create keys.
take note of where your key went and navigate there. That is in the program files, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Daisy Tools, Bin, DSUtils, and here you can see our keys. My usual keys and the one I've just created. Leave the private key where it is, but take the buy key, so copy that out and put it in the keys folder. Now go back to DSU tools and add source directory. Click on that and find in my case in my app packed and published at beginners basics add on folder. Click OK. And here you'll see our beginners basics.pbo isn't signed and that's the path to it. Click process files. One file is successfully signed. Now if we go back to our add-ons folder we will now see a buy sign. This is what we've just created by signing our mod. That is it, we are ready to publish our mod. So launch daisy tools publisher and let's create a new workshop item give it a name decide if you want it to be published privately just to friends or publicly for now i'm going to leave mine as private find the mod content there we go at packed and published beginners basics select that folder give it a description and put some patch notes in now if you did create your .edds using a .png you can also click browse navigate to your data folder where that PNG was and give that your workshop image click agree and publish now by publishing we created our mod on the, the Steam workshop and if anybody downloaded it right now, let's go find any old mod. You'll notice that there's a meta.cpp. If we download our mod, it would have this meta.cpp. But this published ID would be zero. To fix that, click on your beginner's basics or your mod. Reselect the folder and the second push. Update it. What happens is the first time you publish the mod, your mod ID is created and your meta.cpp is created. As soon as you update the mod, that mod ID is added into the meta.cpp. Not quite sure why the doesn't do it straight away but that's Steam for you. Now if you navigate to your Steam Workshop through content, workshop items, you'll see your freshly published mod. Don't forget if you published it private to change it from hidden to public and subscribe. You can also check your item stats and use the owner controls to add images, edit the description and all the usual things of a Steam Workshop item. Hope my tutorial has helped you. I'm going to do one more episode in a bit more of a relaxed format where I cover my first mod. See you next time.